Meta has introduced Llama 2, an open-source family of AI language models, which comes with a license allowing integration into commercial products. The Llama 2 models range in size from 770 billion parameters, making them a formidable force in the AI landscape. According to Meta's claims, these models outperform open-source chat models on most benchmarks we tested. The release of Llama 2 marks a turning point in the large language model market and has already caught the attention of industry experts and enthusiasts alike. Anthropic has launched Claude 2, an advanced large language model that excels in coding, mathematics, and reasoning tasks. Claude 2 is designed to simulate conversations with a helpful colleague or personal assistant. The latest version has been fine-tuned to deliver an improved user experience with enhanced conversational abilities, clearer explanations, reduced production of harmful outputs, and extended memory. In coding proficiency, Claude 2 outperforms its predecessor and achieves a higher score on the Codex Human Eval Python programming test. Its proficiency in solving grade school math problems, evaluated through GSM 8K, has also seen a notable improvement. Claude 2 introduces expanded input and output length capabilities, allowing it to process prompts of up to 100,000 tokens. This enhancement enables the model to analyze lengthy documents such as technical guides or entire books and generate longer compositions as outputs. The potential dangers of highly intelligent AI systems have been a topic of concern for experts in the field. Recently, Jeffrey Hinton, the so-called godfather of AI, expressed his worries about the possibility of superintelligent AI surpassing human capabilities and causing catastrophic consequences for humanity. Similarly, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the company behind the popular ChatGPT chatbot, admitted to being fearful of the potential effects of advanced AI on society. In response to these concerns, OpenAI has announced the establishment of a new unit called Superalignment. The primary goal of this initiative is to ensure that superintelligent AI does not lead to chaos or even human extinction. OpenAI acknowledges the immense power that superintelligence can possess and the potential dangers it presents to humanity. While the development of superintelligent AI may still be some years away, OpenAI believes it could be a reality by 2030. Currently, there is no established system for controlling and guiding a potentially superintelligent AI, making the need for proactive measures all the more crucial. A new report by Google emphasizes that AI represents the most profound technological shift of our lifetime and has the potential to significantly enhance the UK's economy. The report suggests that by 2030, AI could boost the UK economy by 400 billion pounds, leading to an annual growth rate of 2.6%. In a joint statement published today, the 24 vice chancellors of the Russell Group of Universities have pledged their commitment to ensuring the ethical and responsible use of generative AI and new technologies like ChatGPT. Universities are increasingly recognizing the importance of equipping their students and staff with AI literacy skills to leverage the opportunities presented by technological advancements in teaching and learning. Sheila Flavel, CBE, Chief Operating Officer at FDM Group, commented, With businesses crying out for new hires equipped with the latest tech skills and analytics capabilities, providing students with a fully rounded education and qualifications in this area is critical for building a dynamic workforce, fit for the future ahead. In a shift from his previous hands-off approach, Google co-founder Sergey Brin has been actively involved in the company's AI endeavors. Brin has been particularly focusing on the development of Google's next-generation AI model, Gemini. According to reports from The Wall Street Journal, Brin has been showing up at Google offices three to four days a week since the buzz around the success of ChatGPT began late last year. Brin's involvement has been primarily in supporting the hiring process and strategically selecting key personnel for the AI team after the loss of several important researchers in the field. Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai has embraced and encouraged Brin's newfound engagement with the company. The co-founder's previous lack of interest in AI has been well documented, with some employees revealing that he had neglected the early developments of Google's brain division, which played a pioneering role in shaping today's AI landscape. ChatGPT's success appears to have prompted Brin to catch up on the latest AI advancements and acknowledge its importance. 
Microsoft's plans to integrate a new version of ChatGPT into its Bing search engine set off alarm bells at Google. In response, Google CEO Sundar Pichai invited the company's founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, to return for a series of meetings to review its AI strategy. Google launched its own AI language model, Google Bard, to compete with OpenAI's product. Bard's launch was considered botched by many Googlers, and the chatbot gained a public reputation as being less sophisticated and more prone to errors compared to ChatGPT. Since then, Bard has undergone significant improvements. OpenAI has announced that it will establish its first international office in London. The strategic move demonstrates OpenAI's commitment to expanding its operations, embracing diverse perspectives, and accelerating its mission of ensuring that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. London, renowned for its exceptional talent pool, was chosen as the ideal location for OpenAI's international office. The city's vibrant technology ecosystem, welcoming regulatory environment, and thriving community of innovators make it the perfect hub for OpenAI to advance its cutting-edge research and engineering capabilities. The London teams will work closely with local communities and policymakers, fostering collaboration on OpenAI's mission to create and promote safe AGI. Databricks has announced its definitive agreement to acquire Mosaic ML, a pioneer in large language models. This strategic move aims to make generative AI accessible to organizations of all sizes, allowing them to develop, possess, and safeguard their own generative AI models using their own data. The acquisition, valued at $1.3 billion, inclusive of retention packages, showcases Databricks' commitment to democratizing AI and reinforcing the company's Lakehouse platform as a leading environment for building generative AI and LLMs. The primary objective of this acquisition is to provide organizations with a simple and rapid method to develop, own, and secure their models. By combining the capabilities of Databricks Lakehouse platform with MosaicML's technology, customers can maintain control, security, and ownership of their valuable data without incurring exorbitant costs. NHS staff will soon have access to advanced AI technology to enhance the speed and accuracy of patient diagnosis and treatment, thanks to a new £21 million fund. The AI Diagnostic Fund will allow NHS trusts to apply for funding to expedite the deployment of AI imaging and decision support tools, particularly for diagnosing conditions such as cancers, strokes, and heart conditions. The Health and Social Care Secretary, Steve Barkley, has also pledged to implement AI stroke diagnosis technology across all stroke networks by the end of 2023, a significant increase from the current 86%. This initiative aims to facilitate faster treatment for thousands of stroke patients. Barkley emphasized the transformative impact of AI on healthcare and its ability to improve patient care and reduce waiting times.